let's go. So, let's go ahead and do this today. Today's Friday. Got a couple things going right now. Uh, let's see. I'm about to go down here and get this medical jump for my CDL. And uh, I get this medical test for the CDL joint. So, uh, if you don't have a CDL, what you do is like every two years, you gotta go get like a physical done, you know, and send that to the DMV. And they register you saying you got a physical done and everything like that. So you go take a urinalysis and a eye check and, and they, you know, they ask you all questions and stuff like that. So I'm about to go do that real quick. I'm in a car and you know, you know how I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna ride with this joint right here today. You know, cause it's Friday, one of my favorite groups. So this is what we're doing. Also, I got, I'm gonna go, I'm going to the medical joint first and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, um, I might stop at Home Depot, man. I'm gonna pick up a new lawnmower. So I'm gonna see if I can pick that up. And then, oh, let me turn that down. Don't want no, uh, nobody talking about, oh, you sued me, you know what I mean? Whatever, you know. So yeah, I'm not gonna play no music. And obviously I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna, um, I see people walking behind me, I got you. I'm not gonna uh, use the uh, phone to hold it up or nothing to drive either. So, cause if you know me, if the phone ring or you text me or do so whatever, I won't answer if I'm riding. I'll be like, listen, I hit you when I, when I touch down, just wherever I'm at. So, yeah, but, and outside of that, I'm a, uh, after I do the Home Depot jump, it's Friday. Might just run and you know get some uh get a little Hennessy or something real quick. Yeah, and I'm on my iPhone right now. I'm been so lazy. I got the big camera joint, but I'm trying to be inconspicuous, so I'll use the iPhone when I'm going to these places. So let me go ahead and go. And you know, I get back at y'all, you know, real quick. Let me ride down the road real quick, real quick. I gotta go down to Sugarland, so yeah. Yo, okay, made it here to this place. About to walk up in this jump right now, man. You know, so let's see what's happening. See what's going on with these people. Hope I can get in and out of this jump. And I will hit y'all back and let y'all know what's up. So yeah, let me get up in here and let's see what's happening. I'm gonna be in here for a little bit. I know it though. So it's all good. Gia, I. Okay, so I'm at the place. And they said that they don't do DOT physicals anymore. So now I gotta go to another spot. But you know what, it's Friday. This is what happens. And yeah, so this is what happens on Friday. Looks like I'll be um, moving around all day. And I get back at you, so you know, give me a little bit, I get back at you. All right. Yo, that wasn't too bad. I done got my paperwork and everything. So I'm good to go. I just got to email it to the DMV out there in Austin, Texas somewhere. We'll figure that out when I get back. So guess I'm gonna be off here to, uh, to the Home Depot spot. Look at some lawnmowers real quick. Might pick up one, like a new one real quick. Check it out, do an unboxing on that joint. If they got one, you know what I'm saying? If not, you know, I just wait and buy one. I still got one so I can cut my grass anyway. I'll just go get some Hennessy real quick and probably make some beats tonight. Probably make some beats. So yeah, all right, you know what I'm saying? It's another day real quick, but it ain't over because I gotta go down, I'm gonna go down to this Home Depot real quick and see what's happening. And then, um, yeah, let y'all know what, what's going on, what's going down and you know, I'm not a real big blog, vlog type guy, but I gotta get some new content, so I gotta do something. So yeah, we up on here. All right. In the Home Depot, 
trying to get this lawnmower right here. Let's see if I can get that out. Yeah, so see what's happening. One of them, maybe. We'll see. I might have to go to the other Home Depot because they ain't got none. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. They got none here. I might have to go to the other one out of Sugar Land. Since I'm in Mo City right now. So, all right. I'm going to make it happen. Boy, now, you know we out here. Try to get the lawnmower joint. Like I said I'm gonna go out to the one in Sugarland. I tried to get the lawnmower, but of course Home Depot. You up in there, and nobody want to help you out. Nobody want to assist you. You know what I'm saying? So I'll try to go out to the one in Sugarland and probably get better customer service out that way. This Home Depot here, that John, the dude was like, yeah, I'm gonna uh, help you out, you know what I'm saying? Get, I gotta go uh, I'll go, go get a cart and I'm gonna go get the key. I'll be right here. So the dude just wandered off and I'm like, where'd you go? You got the keys. That dude, I ain't never see that dude no more. I've been standing up in that John way for about 15, 20 minutes. That dude, nobody came. They sat there. I'm like, hey, can somebody give me a hand? And people was just like, nah, I ain't got the keys. I'm like, all right, so I'm about to go back to the crib, man, post up. And I guess when I go get something to eat for lunch, I'm gonna try and go out there to uh, the spot real quick and uh, see if I can find a new lawnmower. You know what I'm saying? My old one still work. I just want to get a new one because it's so hot down here in Texas. I want to get one of them self propelled joints so I ain't got to be up there pushing the lawnmower. And even though the lawn is flat, it's just a lot of grass and it gets real thick. So when I'm out there joint at seven in the morning and I get up to try to beat the heat, it's already like 80 something degrees with the humidity feel like 95. So, you know, it, I just need a little bit more help this year. This year, the other years before I was good, but this year I'm just like, you know what, nah. I'm sitting up in here just, you know, burning myself out. By the time I finish cutting the grass and cleaning up and all that stuff, like two hours later, I can't do nothing for the rest of the day because I'm my body is tired. So yeah, let me go and get up out of here, and get back to the crib, man. So I got one thing accomplished. I got my um uh, DOT physical done. So that's a good thing on the Friday. I got something accomplished, but I still I get something to eat. I still want to look at the lawnmower. I'm gonna get something to eat. Stop by the liquor store, get some Hennessy real quick, and I might make some beats tonight. And of course, I know y'all watching the NBA playoffs. So you know how I do. You know I like the NBA. So, uh, who y'all got? The Wizards got out the first round. I'm surprised they let them win one game. I was just happy for them to be in the playoffs, but they ain't had to embarrass themselves like that neither. So, I mean, it's all good. They just they just need new coaching, man. They need a new coach. If they call me, I coach them. They just need a new coach, man, because Scott Brooks, he ain't, he ain't the one. He ain't, he ain't the one. We had the opportunity, opportunity to get Thibodeau, and you see how he did with the Knicks, man. He, man. he made them go hard all season, so, man. But, you know, it's all good. It's whatever, man. I guess it's politics. So now you got Westbrook. We, we shouldn't have gotten Westbrook, but we got him anyway. You know, stat padder, you know what I'm saying? Got his little record, then he just fell off, you know. So, at least that's my opinion. But well, it's all good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me get back to the crib real quick. I'm on my way now. Like I said, I don't be on the phone like that when I'm driving. I only get back on them when I touch down. So, you know, it's all good. All right. And yeah. All right. Here we go. Day two. So, yesterday... I was on a mission to find a uh, lawnmower with the bad customer service from the Missouri City Home Depot. I said, well, let me go out to the Sugarland joint. And then I came back, grabbed my wife, and we went out to the Sugarland. So when we went out there, they didn't have none. And the guy helped us out and he scanned it and everything, scanned the uh price tag and he was like there's not really no lawnmowers in the area 
And so I was like, all right. <clears throat> so today we're going to go into Houston and see what they got out in Houston. You know, I guess I'm on the mission to find something to beat to, to, uh, to um, what you call it, to cut the grass with ease. You know what I'm saying? So if I can cut the grass with ease, it's a lawn right here, just the back. So I'm gonna cut it. Now, you know, if I can't find something today, I'm gonna still cut the grass this evening. Cause it's, I'm sweating. I just stepped outside and it's hot out here. So I'm already sweating. But I'm gonna um, find something to cut it with ease. Like I said, a self propelled joint, whether it's a rear wheel drive or front wheel drive. So I think front wheel drive will be better. And I was looking for a Troy built joint cause I have a Troy built right now. So and even, like I said, even if I can't find a lawnmower, I still have my old. So I can still do that. And this will be my mission for today is looking for the lawnmower. And if I can't find it, then it's all good too. And then since tomorrow's Father's Day, I might, Throw something on the grill. I don't know yet. But when I'm riding today, the music of the day will be, there might be a couple joints. Let's see. Let's go with, let's go with, ooh. Yeah, I got a few joints. Okay. So I'm gonna throw in this joint. Boom. Another one of my favorite groups. Okay. Boom. You already know what it is. Little brother is hot too. They tight. And boom. Okay. So you already know. Music of the day. And the ride. That's what I'm going to be whipping right now. Um, but yeah. We're going to check it out. Today I'm gonna ride, we're gonna ride up to Houston and do that. And if I do barbecue tomorrow, I'll wake up early. I don't know if I'm gonna barbecue or I'm gonna smoke. So, cause I got coal. I gotta see if I got any wood. If I got wood, then I might smoke. Cause it's already set up for smoking right now. So I might smoke. So we'll see. I got the ingredients and everything. And I do have, if I do a video of the smoke, I do have uh, Warren G's Sniffin Griffin barbecue sauce, and I got the rub too, the rib rub and the chicken rub. Hey, I'll show you all that tomorrow on the video, and it'll be my first time using it, and I'll let y'all know how it tastes. So, especially when I put it on the ribs, and I'm only going to do ribs. I probably won't do chicken, so if I do, do decide to do ribs, I'll go the day to the grocery store. I'll buy like two slabs and probably get some salad to go with it. Make a little salad real quick. But yeah, outside of that, it's a brand new day. So I'm about to get it started. Sorry about yesterday. I just kind of got demotivated. You know what I'm saying? Once people start giving you bad customer service and everything, you just don't get motivated to do anything anymore. So it's like, I don't know what to tell you. So I just, I still went to the liquor store and got the Henny though. And I still went upstairs and made a beat last night while I watched the Clippers come back and beat Utah. And I watched Ice Trade again. Just Atlanta should have won that game, man. But, you know, when Philly start playing bully ball and Joel Embiid starts doing what he do and Ben Simmons does nothing and they still win, I'm going for Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, even though I'm a Wizards fan. But I want to see Atlanta win. I guess they're supposed to be the underdog, but they ain't playing like it. But the Clippers, yeah, I mean, the West is the West. They got to run in the, uh, the Phoenix. So that might be a game. I think Phoenix going to take them in about maybe six. So they might win in six. It's going to be no Kawhi. So Phoenix might get them in six. Too much offense, man. So, um... Yeah, and, and game seven's on the, on the East Coast. 
I might not even watch the Brooklyn Jones because, you know, I mean, everybody hurt and hobbling up and down the court. It, Milwaukee should have got them out of there, but, you know, if Brooklyn take it, it's whatever. Milwaukee win, it's whatever. So, yeah, we, you got that dog in the background across the lake. Crazy. So, yeah, let me get off here. We're about to get in the car in a little bit. Just waiting on my wife. We're going to go for a ride. And if they got a lawnmower, that's cool. If not, it's still cool. I still got one. I'm going to still do my work. And I'll probably stop at Krispy Kreme or something, too, you know. This is right there in Westheimer. So, all right, on to the next. So, couldn't find a lawnmower. Came out here to Highway 6 in Westheimer at the edge of Houston and couldn't find one. So, I got some wood, so I might do some barbecuing. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, I think I'll just go ahead and order the lawnmower. And then when I get it, I'll do an unboxing and review and I'll put it to work and stuff like that when I receive it, but it won't be for maybe a month or something like that. There's another month or two before I do that. So yeah, um, and but besides that, I do have a project that I'm gonna put together in the garage. I'm gonna do that for y'all. And let me get out here, the streets. All right, but I will do that for y'all. Put that project together. And then I'm gonna, um, I might do a barbecue video tomorrow. If I do go do some barbecue, I think I, late on this evening, I may go and pick up some ribs real quick. And then have them Jones ready to go for tomorrow. What are you doing, dude? Just to get in front of me, that's weird. You're gonna use a bunch of weirdos. So yeah, all right, I'll just, I'm gonna get off the phone now because some weird people are going on down here in Houston and they trying to drive. So yeah, I will, Get y'all guys up later on. About to go to Asia Blue, a nice ramen spot off of Highway 6 in Missouri City. And yeah, y'all have a good Father's Day and, and Juneteenth and all that. And I'll be coming back at y'all in a little bit. So I'll just make this a weekend vlog. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was back, it's like late afternoon. So came back from a riding around from Home Depot. So I did get some wood, some hickory, and some apple wood. And um, I'm about to be ready to go for tomorrow. It's supposed to rain, but we'll see. Try to beat the rain. You know how that go. So, and you know, it's Father's Day tomorrow too. So I'm gonna try and beat the rain. And then, but right now I got, uh, I got clams going right now. So I got a few of them, I'm about to eat them. Then I'm about to, uh, I set up the grills, cleaning that joint tonight, so I'll be ready to go for tomorrow. Then I'ma chill out, give me a drink, and come do some music. I'm not even gonna watch game seven of uh, Brooklyn and Milwaukee, man. I'm done with that series. So, um, yeah. So, no lawnmower, I'm gonna have to, like I said earlier, I gotta order that joint. Um, I'll do it like next month sometime and then order it, have it come to the house. Because I don't know how long it's going to take <clears throat> for delivery since nobody has none in sight. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. And um, after I'm finished doing the uh, food, I'll probably wake up tomorrow morning. I'm only doing ribs. I ain't doing nothing else. So I might do a short video of what I'm doing with the ribs. I'm not no tutorial dude. i just let you know what, we, what I got going on. And um, yeah, besides that, you know, rest of the day, I'm about to be relaxing and chilling. So, you know, another, just like a whole weekend type video deal, I guess. So, you know, it's all good. I'm gonna mash it up together. You know, forgive me, this is my first, first joint, you know, off the new channel. So, I wanna just see how I get down, see how I get down. And then of course I probably uh, put up some, I'll probably do a video, I'm gonna break my camera. I actually got a camera, I'm filming on the iPhone now. So, I actually got a camera, I'm gonna set it up in my studio and which is, you know, a, a bedroom converted to a music studio, like a home studio, something, something slight, ain't nothing big, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanna, um, you know, set the camera up and I'm gonna set it up so that way y'all can see the screen because I'm working on Pro Tools. So I'll show you maybe a couple times, maybe do some beats, you know what I'm saying, from scratch. 
maybe just one beat. I ain't gonna be on here like four or five beats or something like that. I might just throw something together, you know what I'm saying? And just chill and relax. And yeah, so <clears throat> this will be it for right now. I think I will be going back and checking on my clams and making sure they're good to go, make sure they're opening up. And that'll be my dinner for the night, clams and a salad, and I'm be straight. So yeah, and we'll see what happens tomorrow when I wake up. I'm gonna uh, go down here and see what happens. If it rains tomorrow, then I'll postpone the ribs. But if they're good to go on, on Father's Day, I'll wake up in the morning, get the grill hot early, and you know, post a video or something like that, see what's happening. All right, see y'all. It'll probably be tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Let's see when I see you. If not, this will be the uh, end of this video till I move on to the next ones. All right. Yo. It's the next day. Happy Father's Day to people. You know what I'm saying? Nice, nice day to barbecue. Oh, I remember I was saying I got them ribs and stuff. So I already got them out. Let me show y'all what I'm working with real quick. Couple slabs real quick. Got them turned over. I already peeled the membrane off the joint. This ain't gonna be no rib tutorial. I'm just going to just showing you what I got real quick. Oh, and I was telling you about the sauce, the Warren G joint, the Sniffing Griffins. This ain't no plug or nothing, but I'm gonna try. I never used before, but it's uh, this one right here. I'm gonna use the all-purpose joint. Y'all can see that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna use that rug. So this is the barbecue rug. And then for the barbecue sauce, I got the smoky one too, but I'm gonna try the original. I'm gonna try the original this time. Sniffing Griffin. Yeah, if y'all can see that. I got the smoke one up there too. And um, I'll let y'all know how them Jones taste when them Jones is done. But I already got the grill. I already got my apple juice and water, 50-50 parts ready to, ready to spray when it's going. And here go the grill right here. Bam. Got the wood right here ready. Y'all can see that. I'm, I'm, go out. I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm out here now. I'm out here. So, I'm gonna use some apple. I got the wood ready, like I was saying, the grill and stuff. Oh, it's a little alligator out that joint. Okay. So, yeah, I got the apple right here. I'm gonna use some apple. I'm gonna use some parts apple in this joint, the Kingsford jump. And I got the uh, the hickory jump. Hickory, this bag, I got two bags. One of them almost gone, so I'm about to stack the fire box real quick. Like I said, I ain't gonna be no tutorial video, but I'm just gonna get started. All right, I'll let y'all know how it is, probably midway through. All right. Okay, I'm back. Look like about to rain right now. Y'all, it rained earlier. I'm about midway through cooking these ribs, man. I'm about to open them up and get my little spray and spray them real quick. It looks like the rain is coming back around. So when it does rain, the grill temperature drop considerably. It was pushing like 265, but it dropped down to like 200. But I stacked the um, the firebox so that way it'll stay hot. It's, it'll cook, but it's like a slow cook. So I stacked the firebox. Then when the rain stopped, it was uh, it heated back up again, so it was good. But yeah, let me open this joint up real quick, and I got my little spray right here. My little. You know, 50-50 uh, water and apple juice. Oh, this joint, that's like spray it. Okay. And then I'm just gonna show y'all real quick mid-cook, cause if it's if you keep looking at it, that means you ain't cooking at it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, let me uh, do this. Get out of the way, stack the firebox for the rain, come back around. Well, it's coming back around now, so I'm gonna show y'all what I'm working with so far. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. It's getting there. It's getting there. Let me go ahead and spray these. I see the bark on the ends. Spray these up real good. Keep them nice and moist. And yeah, you know, like I said, this ain't no tutorial video. But I am. I will not a tutorial, but you know, I don't I, I ain't no no super super tutorial dude like that no chef i'll probably do like some funny cooking or something like that you know like a funny video of me cooking out and i'm i'm smoking right now so it ain't really barbecue and i got these joints smoking real good yeah so keep them good nice and moist you know what i mean so yeah so they, like, like you can see them they got a good 
joint on them. So let me go ahead and close them up right now, like so. Close it up like so, and we're gonna be good to go. Let me go ahead and stack this up, and we good. So yeah. And then at the end, I got two different barbecue sauces, and let me get my wife to taste test them real quick, and we can see how it work out. All right, man. Okay, so I had uh, the ribs done, and I did two different, two different um, things this time. I did. Hold on, real quick. I did this one, so I did a comparison. So this one right here is the Warren G joint with the Warren G rub. And then I also do my go-to joint. So the other ribs I did, the Marks joint. This is really good stuff right here. Okay, so I got a taste. How you like the Warren G ones? I like them. You do? Okay, so that's the original joints. That's the go-to sauce. This, how is it? They're both really good. The warm G tastes better on the barbecue because um the um Cause something it. something burns in the other one. Oh, and the sauce. Mm -hmm. she, oh, like it has like a and this one. Mm -hmm. Say something is already in there. Oh, it has like a spice or something in it already? Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, the, the orange heat, like, over the long term, doesn't get so, that bitter. It's not bitter, but it has like a... So the Warren G one is, is really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there you got it. Got a taste test. The Warren G one's really good. That's the ribs, right? If I can get them down on it, boom. The Warren G one's is really good. And that'll be the weekend vlog, so... There it is, man. I'll holler at you on the next one.